fourth do discusses reference standards and consensus-based standards organizations. Prior to performing any DBT testing, it would be wise to review any reference standards. Ensure the most recent version is cited and used. Also, the FDA has a web page titled Recognized Consensus Standards that should be reviewed, especially if the product is a sterile product and or the testing involves shipping simulation or shelf life. The fifth do involves common elements and verification protocols. Although there are no official guidelines or directives on common elements needed in a protocol, it is accepted industry practice to include certain elements, a rationale or discussion of the test and its objectives, a detailed test method that hopefully is a step-by-step -step guide, a detailed acceptance criteria that is clear and concise, and a test result which clearly states the acceptance criteria has been met. These elements will help to avoid confusion when the final report is being reviewed. I wanted to thank you for reviewing this video. And if you have any questions, you can contact us at www.axrmedical.com. Have a great day. Bye now.